pliers and a knife, critical tools when you're fishing. I'm going to show you where I'm going to mount them so I have easy access to them all the time. Stay tuned. We all have tools we use all the time. And for me, I use my pliers to quickly release the circle hook on fish to let them get away. And I also use my bait knife quite a bit. Now on my Jackson Cusa, I've got a nice flat spot right here to my left where I mounted a utility track. Well, not a utility track, a tackle organization bar. I forgot what I called it in the video. I'll link the video up right here. But I don't have that on this particular kayak. I've got the foot holds for the rear seat on the tandem. But I do have a vertical spot right here and right there. Also, I like to keep all my rigs and things like that to my left for some reason. So I've got this area clear and the little bit over here. So what I want to do is mount my knife and my pliers where I can quickly get at it. Now, one thing about the knife, I don't want to mount it here because if I pull it out, the sharp end of the blade is pointing up. No, I want that over here to where when I pull it out, I've got the dull edge on my hand. But the pliers can go here just fine. And I've got a nice pad eye right here. I think I'll replace the leash that came with this with maybe a longer one. I'll have to try that out. But that's going to be kind of a handy thing. So what I'm going to do, or what I've already done, is I've cut a small hole through the back of the pliers case, and I've cut a small hole through the back of the plastic sheath for the knife. And what I'll do is I'll use some well nuts and some washers, and I'll mount each of these on each side. You know, another reason to use well nuts instead of washers is that you may change out the sheath or the knife or something like that and it would end up not really fitting in the one that was existing. So if this was permanently mounted with a rivet, I would lose the opportunity to replace it. Okay, I've made my mark. Now let's get this well nut in. To keep this from tearing loose, I've got a number of large size washers on there, so it should be good. Okay, all set on this one. I think I'm going to like this little hookup right here. And we'll see how it goes. This one's a little more complicated since I've got my rig box right here. So it's going to end up being a little bit farther forward than this one. It'll be right there. So let me mark it. One thing I forgot to mention a little bit earlier, I cut off the belt holder off the sheath of the knife so I could achieve a flat surface up against this center console. Do not need that anymore once this is screwed on. Now I can install it. Interesting. This well nut failed. The washer came loose. I'm going to have to use a different one. There we go. I'm all set. I got my two critical tools installed. And if you don't like doing it this way, I recommend you take a look at my toolbar video. In fact, I got multiple different ways where you can attach a toolbar to a kayak. So check those out. But right now, I'm ready to go. Got to get this stuff out of the way. Comments? Throw it down below. Thanks.